Hello and welcome to Insight of Thermology. This is Dr. Amrit welcoming you to a continuation lecture on retinopathy of prematurity. Today we are going to study how do we classify ROP. The International Committee for Classification of Retinopathy Prematurity, which is abbreviated as the ICROP, basically described ROP based upon the location, which is called the zones in the retina, the extent, that means the number of flockars, the disease effects, the severity, which is called the staging, and based on the vascular characteristics in the posterior pole, ROP was further divided into normal, pre-plus or the plus disease. The ICROP group divided the retina into three main zones for the purpose of defining the retinopathy of prematurity. These zones are the zone 1, zone 2 and the zone 3. The zone 2 is further divided into zone 2 anterior and zone 2 posterior. Zone 2 posterior is a 2 disc diameter area around the edge of zone 1 and is labeled in green color in this diagram. First, let us talk about zone 1. So, zone 1 is described as an area, okay, in the form of a circle, whose, uh, which is centered on the optic disc in such a way that the radius of that circle will extend from the center of the optic disc to twice the distance from the center of optic disc to the center of macula. So, if you look over here, the red circles are the zone 1 and the radius of the zone 1 is double the distance from the optic nerve and the macula. What about zone 2? The area which is extending from the edge of the zone 1 to a circle which is drawn whose radius is equal to the distance from the center of the optic disc to the nasal ora serrata is called zone 2. So these large red arrows indicate the radius of this circle which is drawn from the optic disc to the nasal ora serrata. Okay, and if you take this area or sector between the zone 1 and this circle is what is referred to as the zone 2. However, the zone 2 is further subdivided into zone 1 anterior and zone 2 posterior, right? The more peripheral part of the zone 2 is called the anterior part of the zone 2 and the more central part which is towards the zone 1 is located posteriorly that is towards the optic disc which is present posteriorly and therefore that part is called the posterior zone 2 okay to be more specific a two disc diameter area periphery in the periphery of the zone 1 present in the zone 2 is called the zone 2 posterior so that is very important what is zone 3 the residual temporal crescent of the retina which is present uh, from the edge of the zone 2 okay or which is present anterior to the zone 2 is called the zone 3. Now sometimes you will see that the ROP is not restricted to one zone that means a part of ROP is present in zone 1 and a part of disease is present in zone 2. Now what do you do in such a condition? Do you label it as zone 1 ROP or zone 2 ROP? So the consensus is that you have to label it uh, with the zone which is most posterior okay for example you can see here this yellow line say indicates the pathology and you can see the pathology is not just present in zone 2 but also a part of it is actually extending inside the zone 1 in the form of a notch right so this becomes zone 1 rop however you have to put a suffix which is called secondary to notch so this is a very new thing uh, which is the new addition in the classification of rop by the icrop group so this picture over here tries to explain it to us that the zone 1 is the most posterior zone, right? So remember I told you the circle and the radius of that circle is double the distance from the optic nerve to the macula, right? So the zone 1 is the most posterior of the zones, right? And the zone 2 is present around it and zone 3 is present around it. So zone 3 becomes the most anterior of the zones and then we have the zone 2 and zone 1 is the most posterior. The more posterior the disease is, the more severe it is. Okay, so that is a very important point that we must remember. Now let us do some exercises. So can you identify which zone of the disease uh, of ROP is this? So let me tell you that this is the vascular retina. Okay, and this is the vascular retina where you can see the vessels, right? So say this is the junction between the vascular and vascular retina. Now can you tell me which zone of ROP is this? It's very simple. You can see this is the optic disc 
probably this is the macula so from the distance from here to here is x this will be twice x so we know that zone 1 is drawn with a radius of twice the distance between the optic nerve and the macula so if I'm going to draw a circle like this that will become the zone 1 and you can see that this ROP lesion is present mostly in the zone 1 so this is the zone 1 ROP now what about this condition here you can see the arrows are indicating the junction between the vascular and the avascular retina right and the zone 1 is drawn here which is now let us try to figure out what zone of ROP is this. Now here you can see that these arrows are actually representing the junction between the vascular and the avascular retina, right? That means the pathology is present in this part where the arrows are indicating, right? Now which zone of the retina is this? This is clearly the zone 2 as you can see twice the distance from the optic nerve to macula if you take that as the radius and draw a circle that will be your zone 1 and this disease is present way beyond zone 1 into zone 2 to be more specific this will be zone 2 posterior disease right why because as I told you that zone 2 posterior means when the disease pathology is present within 2 disc diameter area from the zone 1 now let us talk about a practical tip now in real world it might be difficult for us to actually ascertain the zones of the retina to classify ROP. Now this can be done easily using a 28 diopter lens. So if you use a 28 diopter lens and place it in such a way that the nasal edge of the optic disc is at one side of the 28 diopter lens. The rest of the field that is the temporal field of the uh, 28 diopter will show you the temporal zone 1 area. So that's a very important practical tip. Now let us talk about the stages of ROP.